everyone, my name is Rebecca and I have an Etsy store called The Curious Flea, which is also the name of my YouTube channel. I also sometimes sell on eBay and today I headed to the car boot sale and it's my favourite car boot sale of all time and it wasn't open last year because of reasons. But thankfully it has reopened for this winter and I know we are incredibly lucky up here, down here, in the middle, I guess we're in the middle, Sunderland, to have a car boot sale that's open in the winter. And it's really, really great for me because there doesn't tend to be a lot of the general public. There usually is just the tradespeople, the house clearance guys, my favourite 50 pence man. So there tends to be my favourite sellers all squished into a smaller space, which I absolutely love. So I have strapped you onto my backpack as usual. I must apologise. I, I don't know what was going on, but my aim was totally off <laughs> in most of this video. I think I must have had it strapped onto a different shoulder than normal. So it was just, ugh, the footage isn't amazing, but just bear with it. And when we come back, I will go through what I picked up and I can show you up close. So apologies in advance for that. Also, before we get into the footage, I just wanted to mention that I was on a live video. Ooh, my first ever live video on YouTube and Dave from ABL Reselling kindly invited me to be on his live, which was scary. <laughs> I'm not actually not the biggest talker in the world. I prefer to listen. If someone asks me a question, I'll answer it, but I, I do like to listen to what other people have to say. I don't know how I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> but anyway, here we are. So I was so nice of Dave to ask me to be on his live. So you can check that out now. Um, it'll be on his channel, ABL Reselling. And yeah, it was good. We just chatted, chatted reselling things. And it was with uh, the lovely John and Dave, obviously, and Richard and me, sometimes chipping in. <laughs> So it was okay. I survived my first live anyway. So please check that out. And obviously if you haven't subscribed to Dave, which I'm sure you already are, you can subscribe to him. And um, yeah, so I'll head to the footage now and I'll see you back here afterwards and we'll go through what I picked up. Come on, wait for me. <sighs> Bracelet and grab that one. Thank you. Yeah, I've got the bags for if you want, mate. I haven't got anything in them yet. Oh, I'm dead heavy, don't you? That's nice, that. Metal. Lovely, lovely. A level full quarter cup. Oh, quarter cup. Made in Burnley. Oh, Burnley. <laughs> Now, nah, I think I'll throw the one bit there. Yeah. How much is your giraffe? Pounds. Pounds, yeah, I'll do. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, things. Ooh. So many earrings. <laughs> so many. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Cute stuff. 
stuff. Oh, how cute. How much are your earrings? Just a pound. Fab, great. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Might get him. That. Just need to buy a shirt. Oh, it's actually a bowl. Oh. Someone's put a thingy in. Has it got a plug though? Must have tried to change it. Does not have a plug or anything? No. It's nice though. I should have left it as a bowl. Really. Yeah. <laughs> not the mosquito. The mosquito. <laughs> It's an old fashioned fishing weight. We used to use it to keep an nets up. Wow. In the, old days. <laughs> in the olden the, days. <laughs> find them on the beaches years ago. Wow. But now they're all plastic. I've got another nice one down there. Oh, have you? We'll get this one for our share. Thank you. Yeah. 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 How much is your cushion? 50 pence. 50 pence, I'll get that. There we are. Thank you. It's got a little cushion. 50 pence it was. Cute. Nice cushion. The orange one. How much is this? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, nice. Ooh. Take, yeah. <laughs> For pandas. Do you want to put it near than the Eight hundred. So curious. I've got a Thank oh. you. <laughs> oh well that's great. Have to, yeah, I might it, have to, I think I'm running there. out of room. Fast, <laughs> <laughs> 
faster. So well done, you made it through my terrible, terrible footage. I don't know what happened. I think I had you strapped onto this shoulder or the, I think I, did I have you? I can't think, but either way, it was the wrong shoulder. So when I was picking stuff up, you were like twisting off into the distance rather than, anyway, it was a whole thing, but well done <laughs> for sticking through that. Um, I did cut it down quite a lot just because it was so rubbish, so apologies. But anyway, we can now go through what I picked up and um, yeah, let me know what you think of these things. Obviously, I appreciate everyone's knowledge, so comment down below. And my Instagram is in the description if you want to have a chat on there or anything. So let's get into it. I picked up a couple of cushions. I haven't picked up on a cushion in a while. Oh, that's just me dropping my artwork on the floor. Don't worry. <laughs> We'll see if that's in one piece when we get to it. Beautiful cushion. This is like granny squares, I think it's called. The crochet, hand crochet cushion. It's beautiful, orange and gray and super retro. It's gorgeous. I think I paid a pound for this and I should get around 15, hopefully. 15 pounds-ish. Another one I picked up. This is super pretty. It's like an embroidered front. It's gorgeous. Again, same, I should hope to get around 15 pounds for this one. What else did I pick up? Let's see. Oh, I may as well do the lovely art print. Yeah, it's in one piece. This is so pretty. I paid two pounds for this. You know, that's like my top end of what I'll spend, so. And I spent two pounds because it's this here is velvet inside. It's gorgeous and I love velvet and I love green velvet the most. So when I saw that it was green velvet inside, oh, just gorgeous. Just adds like a little bit of quality to it. And this is by, I wrote it down, T. Allum, Belvoir Castle, Leicestershire. And there's even some cows. It's really, really cute. I love that. Now generally his prints don't tend to go for very much, maybe 10 to 15 pounds, but because the frame is so beautiful and I can clean all this up, it's very scuffed. I might go for 30 on that if I can get some really pretty photos. And by the way, on the subject of photos, when I was at the boot sale the other week, I just picked up this because it was like super cheap in the bottom of a box and I was like, oh, hmm, I can maybe display something on this for my photographs. So I've been displaying my artwork and my books on this. I think it's one of them plate stands and originally when it was brand new it was £3.80 so they're not very expensive to pick up but I think they've just really improved my artwork photographs because before I was trying to put them on the wall but sometimes they just look like they've just got a load of blank space behind them and they just don't look like very nice and you can't really get an idea of the size very well so I've been prepping them on this plate here this plate stand let's hope it doesn't fall but it just looks beautiful so I just put it like on the corner of my desk with the white walls and it looks like so much better anyway so you might not find that useful but I just found that really useful for displaying my artwork and I think it does make the pictures look makes them look a little bit different so that's that one I'm just putting them in my little basket down here by the way next this gorgeous vase it looks ancient because it's got like the like the fake crazing in the glaze. I mean I presume it I presume it is. It looks like it's just been hand painted on to exaggerate it a little bit. On the bottom, I think it's Austrian. I am not Austrian. Munda Han Oh my god. <laughs> Gmunda Handarbat. Sorry, Austrians, for that. Um, <laughs> murdered your language, but uh, pretty vase. I'll show you the base, actually. It's lovely. I love the glaze. It's like super shiny, but it's just really, really nice colours. Love burgundy and dark green. I think I paid a pound for that. And they don't tend to go for a lot, but I think mine is a beautiful. So I'm going to aim for around £20 for that. 
And next, what did I get? Oh, a giraffe. I can't help myself but with buying these wooden animals and before I used to be able to get quite a bit for them but they don't seem to sell for that much anymore. But I just can't help it. If I just see them in the bottom of a box, I have to have them. It's a problem that I've got and I've never seen a giraffe before. So normally you get them like the stags and the deers and I've got a couple of rhinos. But the giraffe is wonderful and his legs aren't even broken and it came with a free cobweb. What more could anyone wish for? <laughs> it's so cute. So. <laughs> well, I really love him, you know. Right, no. I can't keep him. I can't. So, because who would love to chew on this is George. Who is just asleep down there. Let me show you. There he is there. <laughs> if he could, he would chew this. So I'm not allowed to keep it. So I can probably get around £15. Sorry, I'll just straighten you up again. There we go. I can probably get around £15. He's cute. I really like him. And, but again, I shouldn't have bought him because he's too big for the small size box. So I'm going to have a right fat pack in him. He's not heavy, but he's just long. He's going to be awkward. So I shouldn't have done it. And I know that I shouldn't have done it, but he's just adorable. I can't help it. I picked up these, which are shirt sleeve garters. It's a man thing, I think. I think you put them on your shirt and it just... I actually don't know what it does. <laughs> I actually don't know. I'm sorry, I should have looked this up. <laughs> Keeps your shirt down. Keeps your shirt... I don't know what it does. I'm sorry. I'm sure, I'm sure someone will know what they do. It's a man thing and yeah, I've had these before and I think I got about £20 I had a set of four, so for a four-armed person and yeah, I should get about £10 at least for these. I'm sorry, it's really late at night so I am rambling, I'm aware. <laughs> sorry. Um, anyway, this is the kind of thing that I love to pick up, it just makes me so happy. It's just like... Anything old fashioned kitchen stuff. It just makes me so happy. Adorable. It's um, Skyline and I think the other week I picked up some Skyline stuff. I think I think I did. So I might put them together because I had, what did I have? I had a spatula and something else from Skyline with the wooden handles. So I might take them two off and put them together as a little family. Um, this is sold recently for £7, which isn't a lot, so I might just be better off doing that. Um, but it's super cute. It's so retro. It's a quarter cup scoop measure, which is adorable. I picked up a few jewellery pieces, and this is one of them. It's not very old, I don't think. Maybe 90s at the earliest, but probably not even that old. It's got two fold over clasps there. It's just so chunky. It's fab. It's like gold and pink. These are just plastic. Um, but I just thought it was so eye catching. And that'll look, look absolutely amazing in the photographs. So I should hope to get, I don't know, I'm gonna go for around 15 pounds on that. It even came with its own little velvet pouch. It's a winner. Another one, which I also don't think is that old, maybe slightly older. A little rhinestone bracelet just little glass stones there really cute that's another nice one which will look nice in the photos red stones always look really really pretty in the photographs so again 15 pounds ish and i got these gorgeous earrings i don't have my ears pierced but if i did i would keep these probably can't tell but they're the aurora borealis stones so that's where, when the light hits them, they change colour. So this is like blue and pink and green. Really, really beautiful. And I love that they're on their little velvet square there as well. So I might go for around £25 for those. Get them listed soon. They'll be good for Christmas parties. And little vintage gifts. So that They are really, really cute. I love those. I got this man. This African man. 
I don't think it's anyone in particular. He's lovely. Um, a similar one sold for 15. So we should hope to get something around there for that one. I didn't really pick up anything really, really high value today. It was just um, just a few bits and bobs, but I enjoy a rummage. That's the fun of it, is having a rummage in a box and just finding a little treasure for 50 pence, isn't it? It's one of the joys of life. <laughs> My mum spotted this. It's like a leather belt and also, I think these are like agate chips. It's really unusual. It's very retro. Now, when I was trying to find one, I can't, no matter what I put in eBay, I can't seem to find it. So either I'm just barking up the total wrong tree or eBay's having an issue with its search. So if you know how I can describe this, or if you know anything about it, help me out. But I think it was a pound. So I should hope to get at least 20 pounds. I think it's lovely. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the last thing I also need help with, because what on earth was someone thinking when they made this? Why does he have feet on his head? That was my question. I think they're supposed to be hands, but I mean, that's a foot. That's definitely a foot. And what is he? Like, <laughs> a melon? Is he a melon? <laughs> no idea. And I've Google lensed him and even Google Lens is like, uh, we don't know. <laughs> but again, I paid a pound for him. Um, someone was selling a load of teapots, like a pound each, and I couldn't help it when I saw that one. I generally try to avoid teapots, but he's cute and he's small and he'll fit in a small box. So that was good. So I did well there. So yeah, also any idea how to describe that? Um, anthropomorphic kitsch teapot melon foot head I don't know so that is it for this week's video it's past my bedtime <laughs> and that's why I've rambled and that's my excuse so thanks for watching thanks for making it this far if you would like any of these things if you want to see what I've got in my Etsy store I've got the link down below and when you click on that link it will automatically apply 10% off to anything that you buy if you wanted to do that and um, if you want to have a chat comments and I've got my Instagram in the link down below as well so you can click on there and send me a message or whatever and yeah check out Dave's live ABL reselling and yeah let me know what you think about that I was glad to survive my first live <laughs> as I say I'm not really a big talker if there's a group of people I'll tend to just sit back and listen and chime in so anyway I enjoyed myself and it's always nice to meet people who have the same interests as you and uh, who you would never ever normally meet in real life so that was great and thanks for having me on again Dave and I think that's it for the video thanks for watching everyone see you next time